things are different. That's different. That's different. That's different. That's different. That's definitely different. That's really different. Yep, that's different. Uh, that's different. Hello everyone, my name is Envar and welcome back to another episode from the single player survival series. And as you can see from me mining those fjords at the start, we are now in Minecraft 1.17. I am so pleased about this, I've been waiting to do this for far too long. And look at these new cool blocks, we've got new stuff. Well, this is a variation on existing stuff, but today what we want to do is find the really really new stuff. But before we get on that, we'll just have a quick look at where we left this off last time. We built this crazy guardian farm and it is turned off at the moment and I'm going to test it just to make sure it definitely works in 1.17 but I set myself the task of covering this whole floor in sea lanterns and as you can see I have made a little bit of progress. Don't know if we'd call this halfway there yet but it's getting there so I've just been leaving the farm running a little bit, coming down plates in the drops, crafting the sea lanterns and replacing it. So it's going alright, we're getting there and we will get that done but that is not what we're doing today. Today we are going to be exploring 1.17 and finding some new stuff. But first, let's test this guardian farm. There we go. Yes, this works. I knew it did anyway, but I was really worried then it wouldn't for some reason, but that's that's all right. So let's get this turned off and we can get on with finding some of the cool new stuff. Okay, so I suppose we should start our little adventure now. I just want to explain that between episodes, I've actually trimmed the chunks of this world. So I've got rid of all the stuff that I've spent less than 10 minutes in. So anything there, definitely not using, and when I go back to those chunks, they will regenerate with the new 1.17 features. If you're interested in doing that in your own world, I do have a tutorial for that process, and I will put a link to that on the screen now and in the description, so please check that out if you're interested. But for now, all you need to know is I've done that in this world, and we're going to go explore, and hopefully we won't have to go too far away to find some new features. Now, one of the first things I want to find is the moss blocks and they will generate in the lush caves biome, but unfortunately that won't be added until 1.18. But luckily we do have two other ways of finding them, and that is either from buying them from wandering traders, which we don't do that, we don't be waiting around for wandering traders, or finding them in chests in shipwrecks, and that is what we're going to do first. We're going to try and find some shipwrecks and get some moss blocks. And we only need one, because what we can do then is bone meal them. So that's why I've got some bone meal on me. We can generate as many as we want of them. So that is the one of the first things I want to do. And then the rest, everything else really, I think we should be able to do by just doing a bit of caving. We can get the new blocks, the deep slate, we can get the dripstone, and everything else has just fallen out of my brain. But I'm sure there's a lot more stuff we'll see along the way. Okay, so what I've got on me is three empty chulker boxes, because that could come in very handy. A bit of bone meal and some bone scraps and more, and... A few spruce planks because you never know might need to make a crafting bench for whatever reason and i have both my silt touch pick and my fortune pick because we can fortune literally everything now so the copper that's what i forgot to mention the copper we definitely want to get an absolute ton of copper and we as we can fortune all of the ores now we definitely want to do that okay so i suppose we could just have a fly around here because we are in the middle of an ocean and it is daytime so we will take a bed because we don't want to be fighting anything we'll take a bed and we'll have a fly around and hopefully we can find some shipwrecks and get some moss blocks. Okay, so not far away from the ocean monument, I found the first shipwreck. And I never have much luck with these ones that are on the side. Don't have as many chests in. Or I never seem to find them anywhere. That's, that's probably just me though. Okay. Oh my god, look at that. Three moss blocks straight away. Job done. Very happy with that. Right, let's see what else there is. Alright, see what I mean? I can have found the other chests. What? Where are they? Maybe there's just not as many in these. Anyway, I'm happy with that. I can't believe that. That, that was so easy. Right, okay. Let's go over this way, because while I was looking for this, I did find something. And it's this. I can't believe this was so easy to find. This is a geode. And it's just on the seabed, and it's poking out above the water. So this was so easy to find. I really want this calcite. But inside here, this is where we'll get the amethyst shards from as well. So, oh, this is really, really dark. Don't want that. Listen to that sound. That is so cool. Oh, that's awesome. Why am I whispering? I don't know. Right. So, if you haven't seen these before, this is one of the very cool features in Minecraft 1.17. And most of this in here, we can just break. And I think you need to use a silt touch pick, so we'll do that. But if you look carefully, these ones here have a little cross on. Do not break these blocks, because you will lose them. Even with silt touch... Or if you try and push them with pistons, it will not work. And these are very valuable because this is what generates these things. These are the amethyst shards. And this is what we need to make, like the spyglass and the new 
tinted glass stuff, whatever it's called. That's what we need for that. So we need to make sure we keep all these blocks. Now we can harvest everything else. We can grab all of these. I'll listen to those sounds. That is so cool. So we're going to grab all of this amethyst, leaving all of these. And it's actually beneficial to remove all of these because the amethyst shards can generate on all six sides of these blocks. So it's best to break them on every side, all the blocks around them. And then we can actually automate the farming of these as well. We probably won't do that in this episode, but there are a couple up here, so we can get that. I think if we break that, we get the full cluster, yeah. And I, which, these things are very cool, but if, I think, I might be wrong, but let's try it. If we break this for the fortune pick, we should get the shards. Yeah. So, what did I get there? I got eight there, which is pretty good. And that is what we need to make the spyglass and the tinted glass. So, that's pretty much all I need, actually. I don't need a lot of this for now. So I'm going to grab the rest of these blocks, and I'm going to grab all of this calcite as well, because as far as I know, this is the only place you can get this. And then this here is smooth basalt. So this is a new block, but we can actually make this ourselves just by cooking up the standard basalt. So I'll leave that for now. I'm just going to grab all the cal calcite and the amethyst. And then after this, we'll be on to the next thing that I want to get. Okay, so this thing is completely stripped out. And this in this shulker box, I've put everything that I've got from it. So we've got three stacks of the amethyst blocks. And over four stacks of calcite. And this is great because this is a great building block. I really like this. And then while I was doing it, one of the other clusters grew. So I fortune that and I got four from that one. So we now have 12 amethyst shards. And I've just put the moss blocks in here as well. So that's it for this bit. This is going really well. Two of the things ticked off my list already. But next, what I really want to get is glow berries. And as far as I know, the only way to get that is from a chest in an abandoned mineshaft. So I think what I need to do now, actually, is go do a bit of caving. I'm going to mine down a little, little bit lower down. And in fact, I may actually do it from in here. I think that makes sense, doesn't it? I've got this little door here so I can get back out because the water in here was really annoying me. What I'm going to do now is start digging down here and hopefully I've come across a cave. And you never know, if I'm really lucky, I might find an abandoned mineshaft. Okay, so we're now really low down in the world and we'll come across another new block and this is deep slate and i did actually mine this with my silt touch pick but i think what i actually want to do is mine this with a fortune pick because the cobbled version of this is much more useful that's the one that you can use to turn into stairs and all of the other blocks so i'm definitely going to want to get the cobbled version of this so i'm going to keep mining around here hopefully we can find a cave and an abandoned mine shaft but I'm going to grab as much of this deep slate as I can while I'm down here as well. Okay, so that patch of deep slate seemed to go on for absolutely ages. And I've dug out this whole area and this is what I managed to get. So I've got quite a few stacks of that. And then we've got a few of the deep slate ores as well, which I'll still touch so we can just have these. And they'll probably just be for decoration more than anything else. Because, as you know, I'm farming most of this stuff already. But it's a new block. I've got to have it. And then speaking of new blocks, I also got a block of tuff as well. And there was only one, like, deep down in the bedrock somewhere. So definitely need to find some more of that. But that's it for this bit for now. And as you can see, you've got lava on this side. So we're not going to be going very far. So I think what I'll do, I'll go back up and head down in another direction. And hopefully we can run into a cave. Okay, I've made a really smart move without even knowing it. While I was down there, digging out that deep slit, it was very close to this. And as you can see, a lot of them have grown now. So I can mine some of this. And get a few more of the amethyst shards. Now, it's quite difficult to see if they're grown or not. But I think that one looks like it definitely is. So, I want my fortune pick. So, let's grab that. Did I get anything there? Yes, I did. What did I get? Is that 16 just from one? Nice. That's what I want. Right, so I'll grab the rest of these that are fully grown. And then we'll dig down in another direction and hopefully find a cave. Okay, so I've dug down in another direction and I've come across a deep slate again. But I've also found this patch of tuff. But if you listen, I can hear a zombie. So I don't know if the tuff represents a, a cave close by. But I think hearing that zombie definitely does. So I'm going to try and get as much of this as I can and hopefully find that cave. Okay, so I've dug across a bit and I've found where the noises are coming from. And this to me looks like a ravine. So... This is probably a really bad idea. Look, there we go. I'm getting attacked already. Oh, diamonds. Look at that. People say diamonds are rare. First cave I found. Look at that. Easy. Alright, I'm going to light this up a little bit. And hopefully nothing will fall on my head. Not a fan of mining at the bottom of ravines, but I've got to grab these diamonds, haven't I? Right, so we'll go and tilt touch. Grab these. 
my god. There's, there's loads. No, no, go away. Terrible shot. Get in the lava. Yeah, bye bye. Now, that is a lot of diamonds to find all in one place. 11 ore, all in one bin. Brilliant. And there's another one up there. Now, is there anything else interesting in here? Apart from skeletons trying to shoot me. Because that's, that's not what I want to see. Alright, there's lots of lava. Lots of bad times around there. I don't think I want to do this. Oh, is that the glow leech in there? I haven't got any of those yet. Uh, but d d d no, no. Just no. I really feel like I should do it though. Right, have I got a bucket? I have a bucket. Let's do this. Let's let's make this place really, really dark and have more mob spawning. That sounds like a real bright idea, doesn't it? Right. Not far to go now. Once I've done this lava, it should be the only light source around here, so it should be easy to get. Just, I just don't want a creeper falling on me. Or a skeleton. Don't no, go, go away. Die. Right, where is it? Didn't I just say it'd be easy to see? Where, where's he gone? There, it's up there. Right, come on. Okay, so you can bomb me this as well. Actually, let's give that a go. This seems like a real safe place to run an experiment, doesn't it? Do that. Yeah, nice. Oh, we'll oh, go away. What was that? Right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to grab this and run. That'll do for me. Ugh. Right, so anyway, I'm getting distracted. What I really want is an abandoned mine shaft, and that's not what this is. So, I'm going to keep looking. And I'll come back as soon as I find something else. Okay, so I've just dug through into another big scary cave. And I was about to turn back and go another way because there's lots of lava doing crazy stuff over here. But then I looked up and I saw this. That right there is what I'm looking for. I want to get into an abandoned mine shaft. All for glowberries. This is mad. Right. I don't like, really don't like the look of this, but come on. Right, have I got my... Where's my noob juice? Must have noob juice. There we go. I'm going to pull it straight up. That, that sounds like a good plan, doesn't it? Alright, I can hear zombies. The kind of zombies that want to push me into things. Don't like that. All I need is one minecart chest. And if it has the thing in I want, I can leave immediately. I just want some glowberries. Hello. Have you seen a chest? No, okay. No, oh, it's got skelly bobs. Don't go that way. Oh, is this it? This can't be it. more this way oh and it intersects with a water cave I mean that that's just brilliant isn't it okay lava yeah great no, no chest yet Let's go. Brilliant. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to show you. This is a lot of skeletons. Is there a spawner? Oh! That's not what I was looking for. But that is our first copper. So we've got to grab this. Nice. That's quite a lot as well. Is that normal? I don't know. How much have we got there? 10 blocks of copper ore. And remember we can fortune this one as well. So that's pretty good. That's a good start. 11. 11 copper ore. Nice. Add more there. Brilliant. But it's not looking good for the mine shaft, is it? It's not looking like we've got a lot of this. Yeah, I think this one isn't too good. I think, I think I've been everywhere in it now. This, this is the smallest mine shaft I've ever seen. Especially with it being so dangerous as well. I thought I might get something out of this, but unfortunately not. 
All right, did I go that way? I don't think I went that way, did I? Let's try it. These, these chains holding everything up is so cool. Glow squid! Duh! Distracted again. I've got, to, I've got to get a glow squid. Did I get the thing? Where's the thing? All right. There's more. Yes, there we go. Glowing sack. Nice. Any, none from you? All right. Right, th this is some crazy terrain generation going on here. I don't want to go in there. That looks mean. Don't think I'm going to get much out of this, but is there anything over here? No. I think I'm going to call this one a fail. I'm going to go find... I'm going to go do a bit more caving, try and find another mineshaft. Okay, so I've flown away a little bit into a desert because I'm thinking the problem with that abandoned mineshaft was that it intersected with a some underwater caves and ravines so it might have cut it off a bit so I've come inland a little bit and hopefully I might be able to find something if we go down into some of these caves and here we go again not what I was looking for but definitely very welcome I wanted these so we've got the pointy dripstone there and we also have some of the dripstone blocks below it so that's great when I collect all of this and then we can definitely get on with farming those and what's this down here this doesn't look good oh there's a mod on there brilliant and I did find a little bit more copper while I was on my way down here. And, oh, look at this. It's quite a lot in here. I didn't realise you could get as much of this. And another skelly bob. Too many skelly bobs around here. Okay, right. I'm going to collect all this. But I really, really want to find a mineshaft now. Okay, so I've managed to find another abandoned mineshaft. And I can see straight away we've got some smooth basalt. So that means there's another geode over there. Now, are we going to be as lucky in... Oh, my God. Yes. Right. Okay, I'll continue with that question. Are we going to be as lucky in here as we've been on the rest of the trip? What I want to see in here is glowberries. No! Oh, my luck may have run out. Why did I break that? I didn't want any of that. Okay, let's do a little bit of exploring and see what we can find. Not a creeper. Don't want a creeper. And that is not what I wanted to see. There's a cave spider spawner there, so I'm blocking that off. Right, this one seems a lot bigger than the other one, so hopefully there may be something more interesting in here. No, no. I hate cave spiders. No. Hello. Where did that cave spider come from? That's what's worrying. Alright, so it looks like we've got a few geodes down here. There's one under here. I think this is where I started. But then, just around this corner, we've got another one. Okay, here we go. So, we found another minecart chest. Let's hope we're a bit luckier this time. No. 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 I'll take that. But no. Alright, torches. Need those. But no. Oh, this, this is not looking good, this. Don't think there's much more to explore in here. Right, we're back to the start. And I think I'm going to give up on this one. Going to go find another one now. Okay, so I found myself another mineshaft. Let's see what this one has to offer. So after a long time in this abandoned mineshaft, we've got the first chest of minecart. Let's see what we get. No. No, no, no. Not doing too well now. Okay, so this place is massive. I've been exploring for a little bit longer and I finally found another chest. So let's see what we get. No. Am I ever going to find these things? Okay, let's try again. I think we're running out of places to visit in this abandoned mineshaft. So fingers crossed for this one. No. No, I'm getting the feeling this isn't going to happen. Okay, and just around the corner from the last one, we've got another one. So, here we go. Fingers crossed again. Yes! Oh, I don't believe it. I was about ready to give up, and we finally got some glowberries. That is awesome. Right, and these things, I only need, I only need one, actually, because these I can actually bone meal. So, if we plant these on the ceiling like this, grab some bone meal, and then all we need to do is bone meal this bush, and it... You get the glow berries off it. If you right click it again, you get the berries. And then you can just keep spamming right click on this. And you get an infinite amount of them as long as you've got enough bone meal. So we will be abusing this mechanic in a farm at some point. But for now, this will do. So these things are absolutely great. Because you can actually use them for lighting and eat them. What what else can you say that about? That is great. Right, so now I've finally got these. I think that is everything on my list. I may have forgotten something, but I think I'm doing pretty well. So we're going to go back to the starter village now and have a look through what we've managed to get. Okay, so this clearly isn't my starter village. 
But I thought it made sense to come here first because this is my super smelter and we did get a fair bit of copper on that trip. So what I want to do here is fortune this down and then we can get it all cooked in here. Okay, so on that trip, we managed to get over two stacks of copper ore, which might not sound like loads, but remember, we can fortune this and I have absolutely no idea how much that's going to turn into, but I suppose there's one way to find out, isn't there? So let's get this broken down and we'll get it cooked up. Okay, that's all broken down, so what do we get? Oh my god. I was not expecting anywhere near that much. That is crazy. So that's... that's two, I had two stacks and 18. I've now got 13 and a half stacks of raw copper. Is that right? That's unbelievable. Okay, I suppose we should get this cooked up now. Okay, so all those furnaces light up now. So we'll leave them to do the thing. Cook up that copper. And then we'll get back across to the starter village. Okay, so we're back over here, just outside the starter village. And this area here, if you've been watching my series for a very long time, you may recognise this. This bed and this crafting bench I placed in episode 1 of this series. That's how old this is. I don't think I've been up here since then. This is where I gathered the materials for my starter house and the barn, just there. So, anyway, I digress. I've come up here because it's fairly flat. And I wanted to do a bit of experimenting with the moss blocks and maybe a couple of other things as well. So let's put these shulker boxes down here. I don't even know what that one is. Oh, buttons. That's what I needed. Right, so let's grab these. I think this is what I put everything in. And I grabbed all that copper from my super smelter. And some of it went missing, actually. I had 12 ingots go missing. But you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. So I've converted it all into blocks because that's how much I had. And I suppose we should... First thing we should do is craft ourselves a telescope, shouldn't we? That's definitely necessary. And I think I've got everything on me. We need copper ingots and the amethyst shards. And we can now craft a spyglass. It's not called telescope, it's called spyglass. So let's do that. And let's give this thing a test. Right, so I do have Optifan installed. So I can zoom the normal way anyway. But I think this thing is actually better than that. But it's such a cool animation as well. Oh, and it does work with Optifine as well. So if I zoom in with a spyglass and then press C key to do the Optifine zoom, it does both. That's brilliant. But this this thing is so awesome. What's it look like when I'm doing like this? Da -da. <laughs> oh, this. oh, that's brilliant. I love this thing. Okay, so the next thing I want to do, uh, should we... Actually, what we could do, should we put some of this... Put some of these blocks of copper down and we'll let these oxidize into the green ones and I'll... He's supposed to leave spaces between them. I don't know that. Please let me know in the comments if you do. I don't think you need to. I'm just going to put these 20 I had there. Was it 22? Put those there and then we can use them later on. And then the thing I really want to do is get some more of these moss blocks. So we'll stick all that in there for now. Because I've only got three of the moss blocks. But very soon we're going to have a lot more. So what we do with these? We'll put these down next to stone. And then if we bone mill them. It converts the stone or a few other blocks around them as well. We put it next to the stone, bone mill it, and we now have even more. And we also get the new bushes as well. So these are the azalea bushes. We've got the flowering kind there, and then just the normal one here. And what you can do with these, if you bone mill these, they will turn into the azalea trees. So it's not a new type of wood, it's just oak wood, but you do get the azalea leaves on it. And it also creates one patch of rooted dirt as well. So we'll just Pull me a little bit, try and get some more. Actually, that's one there, isn't it? Actually, we've got a few. Okay. I, I could get loads. I don't know what the tool is to, for mining this, but it doesn't seem to be a pickaxe. Maybe it's a hoe. Have I got a hoe on me? Oh, I've only got a diamond hoe. That's not, oh, there we go. Yeah, it's definitely a hoe. Right, look how much I've got now. That's only from bone milling one block, and I now have 34 of them. And a few more as well. Very nice. Right, I got 45 there straight away. That's brilliant. So I will be automating this eventually. I'm going to build some crazy farms. But for now, we can just do this manually because you get absolutely loads. So should we try planting one of these and see what these trees are all about? So if we just bone mill that, we get the azalea tree. So this is just normal oak wood. But then this, these are new leaves. And then if we look, if we just get rid of this one, where's my axe? This is a new block as well. This is called rooted dirt. And what we can do with this 
if we bone meal this and have a, a gap underneath it, we'll get this new stuff called hanging roots. And this is just a decorative block at the moment. I don't think it has any other use. But if we just, we can automate firing a dispenser at this with bone meal. And if we just keep mining underneath, and I, I did just punch that and I didn't get it. because so you do need to use shears, which I don't know where I put those. Where did I put my shears? There we go. All right, let's try that. Right, so bone mill that, and if we do that, we get the hanging roots. And I believe you can just place these on the most blocks. So it's just for decoration, like stuff growing down from there. It looks really cool. So, right, we need to sleep. Hello? That's a face full of sheep. Okay, these doing anything yet? No. All right, let's chop this down. Get some more of this. Can I, have I got silk touch on this? No, I haven't. Just get rid of these for now. And for this, I think I need to use a shovel for that. Yeah. Nice, I've got quite a lot of the carpet as well, and I'm getting quite a lot of stuff from this. And as I say, I definitely am going to automate this process. I've got a lot of, lot of 1.17 farms that I want to build. But you know what? That's definitely not going to happen today, is it? Because we've spent a long time exploring. Right, is there anything else we can do? The dripstone, that is a very, very slow process, so I'm not going to do that now. Oh yeah, let's do the glowberries. I want to do the glowberries. All right, I, need, I think I need to put this under something that I So, we just do that, like that. And if we just bone me this, we should get a ton of glowberries. All of these things are so good. And you know what? This is the thing that I spent the most time trying to get as well. So I'm definitely going to use these a lot. I feel like I've earned them. Okay, so we have definitely got a lot of cool new features to be playing with. And a lot of farms to be building. So many things added in this update. It's absolutely brilliant. I really like it so far. And I've really enjoyed just having a bit of an explorer on the world. Haven't done that for a while. So it's been a lot of fun. But... Unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave it there. So if you have enjoyed this episode, please do leave a like. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>